When trials come through, now guess what? You're going to regurgitate what you put in earlier, what you put in last week. Now that word is going to be brought afresh to you. Because that's how he strengthens us and that's how he lets us know he's right there. See, he's a father. You just think about those little kids when they go to kindergarten in the first grade. You know, they want you to be there right there with them. They cry if you leave. Oh, they cry for hours. But, you know, because they parent, they want their parent right there with them. But we got to know that he's right there with us. We just got to open up our mouths because it told us in Romans 10, say so the word of God is in your mouth. Because see, when you open up your mouth, you're, you're speaking his spirit into existence. See, we got to learn how to work his spirit. Because see, even here, verse 5 says, Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. He said, For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burnt. He said, but if you remain in me and my, word, and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it, be, and it will be granted. See, that's why we got to know his word. He said, because you can ask me for anything because, see, you're constantly putting his word on the inside of you. So even the Bible even talks about how the earth yields fruit to the voice of God. Think about it now. So even if he speak to the he speak to the trees and he say trees, he speak to the wind blow. He say earthquake. Whatever that he speak, the earth responds to it. Think about it now. So if the earth responds to him, what make you think that our situations won't respond to him? The only reason our situations won't respond if we ain't speaking and if we ain't believing. Because it go back to Romans 10 and 9. The Bible said you first got to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. See, even when you're confessing his spirit, you got to believe and you got to confess. See, it's a twofold thing. You can't just confess. You got to believe. And you just can't say, I'm going to believe, but you got to confess. See, the two work hand in hand because, see, that's the same. When we confess and we believe in our heart, that's when Jesus came in, right? So if he came in, what make you think he won't take care of you? So when you talk about this situation that you're dealing with in life and you say, God, I thank you. I ask you to bring your life on this situation. Breathe life on this situation that I'm dealing with. God, I ask you to make a way out of no way. Come on. You don't you understand that all heaven is going to respond, even the earth is going to respond because of what you're saying. Right. And see, and that's why we got to be at a place to understand that we got to utilize his spirit. Because see, look at verse 7. He said, you can ask anything you want and it will be granted. He said, when you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my father. So in other words, he's expecting us to bring fruit. He's expecting that when you're going through trials and tribulations, because I told you, God, why, you got to look at it twofold. Why is he allowing it to happen? Because he can stop anything he want to stop now. But why is he allowing us to go through? Why did he let the situation to work out the way that he worked? He, he's allowed it to work out. Because he wants us to call him into existence. Because see, it's easy to say, I love the Lord. But go through and let's see how you love the Lord. Yeah. See, because see, he's looking at our expressions. He want to know, what are you speaking? What are you doing? Do you really believe me to see that you, you, you say you know who I am? But I'm, I want to know, do you know who I am? Because you got to understand that when he looks at us, he already see what he called us to be. But the thing is, we just have to work at it because he's trying to show it to us. Because, you know, sometimes we'll say, oh, dog, that ain't in me. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. But let something happen. You will really see what's really on the inside of you. Come on now, because see, he want to let us know that's right, that's what's on the inside of you, and that's what I'm trying to kill. But I need you to know that I'm right here to help you. You got to know that you're not alone. Right, right. 
How many know it's the enemy job to make it seem like it's worse? Mm -hmm. Can't nobody help. Don't nobody understand. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody see what you see. Don't nobody feel what you feel. Because tell you the truth, all of us felt like that. Yep. I'm going through this now. You don't know about this. You don't really understand. <laughs> but see, he want to let us know. Yes, it is. But if you got my spirit on the inside of you, I want to know, do you really believe you got my spirit? You really have my spirit on the inside of you. Because in my Baptist church when I was young, they said, this joy I have, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. What does that mean? That means when I'm still, when I'm going through, I can still have joy. Right. It's just, it's my choice. Yes. Think about it. I may not feel like it, but he's saying if you apply my word to say I have a choice. The world didn't get it, and the world can't take it away. Therefore, this situation can't take it away unless I allow it to take it away. See, now he want to see, are you walking in your authority? Because see, we always say, okay, I got that God given authority. But see, now he going to allow, he going to allow you to go through trials and tribulations to see it now you're going to utilize it. See, it's easy to go through to say, oh, I got authority and you ain't going through nothing. But see, he allowing us to go through it because he's trying to show us us. And he's trying to show us that we got power. He's trying to show us that we got authority. <coughs> that we just got to open up our mouths and we got to say something. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Let's go back to Romans 8. <coughs> Because see, when you go into Romans 8, it talks about how the enemy don't have no power that 